Salutations, Internet, and welcome back to Dewombat Gaming. I'm Dewombat, and this is Unepic. In the last episode, we cleared out all of the sewers. I think we did every quest, except we have to go turn in those uh, delicious sewer drugs to that goblin man. So let's go do that. And then we're going to go kill the final boss. Now, I apologize for the lack of videos over Thanksgiving week. I meant to get one up Tuesday and Wednesday, but our internet was being finicky, and it was just... It, well, it wasn't possible, sadly. But I'm back now. It, I, I wasn't going to upload the Thursday through Saturday, because, I mean, it's Thanksgiving. And I was going to tell you guys that in those other videos that I couldn't upload, because if... It, yeah. You get what I'm talking perfect, about. Perfect! Perfect! Now I can make tea. Many thanks, stranger. May luck be with you. Ahem. <clears throat> Aren't you forgetting something? Forgetting what? My coins. Coins? What coins? I do not remember. You don't? Maybe a couple of slaps will remind you. Ah, uh, yes! Now I remember! Here, you have coins. That's better. 37 coins? Experience. The experience is the important part. So let's get back to the, uh, freaking gate thing up here. Not gonna bother killing those frogs, because frogs are lame. <laughs> Got my friendly ice elemental cold axe with me. That's awesome. Is this the one? I think it is. Nope. This one. Done. I like how I can magically teleport around the castle just going through doors. So, while I'm doing boring crap, you guys, I have a new roommate. And his name's Errol, and he's super cool. I've known him since high school. But he and I just had a conversation about pooping. So, he thinks that it's normal to spend a long time on the toilet and, you know, have a good time and... Okay, one second. Looks like a medieval version of a Stargate. I wonder where it goes. Just put a pause. It's a portal to a fabulous place. Whoever crosses this portal becomes a king and any desire is fulfilled nearly instantaneously from the most succulent delicacies to the most beautiful women. Yeah. Of course. So, you want me to get into this thing? Who knows what horrendous death awaits at the other side? I see you still take me for an idiot. By no means. I was just answering your question. Well, I'm definitely not going. Although... Wait a minute. You know that I know that you want me dead. Therefore, you know that I should never trust you if something very tempting comes up since it'll be a trap. If you really don't want me to go through that portal, you should just say the opposite, right? You encourage me to go, so I should refuse. You know what, Zira? You have been very kind to inform me of the wonders on the other side of the portal. Yes, I'm going to enter it, because I trust you. No! No? Why not? You just told me that there's a fabulous place on the other side. Are you trying to be clever? Do not go into the portal or you will die! Is that right? Isn't this just what you want? Me to die so you can be free? What are you hiding, Zira? What's out there that you don't want me to see? Uh, this portal leads to the depths of the mountain where Draconius lives. The second of the great guardians. Isn't that better for you? If Draconius kills me, the echo of your laughs will resonate all around the castle. You're worried that I could kill him, aren't you? You already saw how I handled that little sandworm from Arrakis and- Once again, you are mistaken. If you fall here in the castle, I will be free again. But if you find death out there, I will never return. So that's the reason. You're afraid of being trapped in the depths of the mountain for all eternity. Okay, then. Now you have a good reason to help me as much as you can. Start talking, because I'm crossing through that portal right now. Crazy fool! The portal is one way. Once you cross it, you will not be able to return. So you must use another method, like teleportation. Okay. What else? The depths are an inferno, with lava that kills on contact. Both the great Draconius and creatures that dwell there are invulnerable to fire, but weak against cold. 
Use the magic of frost against them as much as you can. Moreover, bring many healing potions and have them ready. Do not hesitate to use them and try to keep yourself uninjured. Wow, Zira, you're really helpful when you want to be. Your master is very lucky to have you as a servant. Thanks for the advice. And don't worry, I don't want to die. Alright, anyway, back to what I was talking about. Bowel movements. What is up with the thing of people looking at their phones and doing stuff on the toilet? It never takes me that long. I don't understand how anybody could ever want to just sit there and just above the, s the smells and what have you that wafts out of that toilet. How could anybody want to do that? It doesn't make any sense. So I'd appreciate if somebody would attempt to explain to me in the comments or something, because it confuses the crap out of me. So as you can see, there's lava down there. Ye I will die instantly if I try and touch that, so, you know. Cold Axe is a very good pet to have right now, because he will kill everything in my way. Like these guys. And when they're frozen, they are completely harmless. Uh. And apparently those things are enemies, and they explode and make the death noise when they die. It's interesting. Okay. Alright. Continue. Now we have fire elemental dudes. It takes two bolts of frost to kill them, so that can be annoying. Crap! Eh. Alright. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'll be fine. Yep. I'm good. I got my hearts. Hello? Uh. Perfect. Alright, Cold Axe, do your thing. Do your... Th oh. I already got him. Perfect. Well, in that case... Cold Axe, no! Cold Axe, you have to do your thing! Perfect. Okay. So now we jump down here. And we have more guys to kill, so that's lovely. Get him twice. Okay. Nice job, Cold Axe. Can you get him? Cold Axe. Huh? Oh god, I didn't know he could do that! <laughs> I didn't know he could come down! Okay. That was kind of scary. At least he didn't light me on fire. Which is interesting, because he probably should have, considering he's, you know, made of molten fire and touched me, but whatever, man. Only magic fireballs can set me on fire, because I am a bamf. A badass mother fooper. Hey. Hey, hey, fire man. Cold Axe. You see him? You see... Do you... Cold Axe? Alright, keep... There you go. Perfect. Perfect! Such a good little Frost Elemental minion. I love him so much. Cold Axe is a good name, too. And we just go across... That's a flaming helmet Cold Axe can take care of. There's another one. Perfecto mundo! Another... Another one? No? Alright. No more flaming helmets. What about... Nope, no more flaming helmets. In that case, looks like it's time to summon Wait. What's up? The, the guy. Before invoking Draconius, let me give you some advice. Thank you. Scared, are you? What can you tell me? The force of his attacks will make you fall back, so you must avoid being near the edges to avoid falling into the lava. Seek refuge from his fire under a solid roof, and do not hesitate to use healing potions to heal any burns. Moreover, Draconius always attacks from the air. Use frost magic or a bow against him. And most importantly, if your life is in danger, teleport yourself to the castle. Meh. Wow, Zira. Thanks for all this advice. I don't want to die. If things get ugly, I'll teleport back. Eh. And now, go, go, go! I think I'd rather just die, because I think it respawns me right before this room. So, I'll just go ahead and do that. Draconius! So for this fight, you just gotta remember to press tab, and that will target him, and then you can just shoot frost bolts at him. Once he's targetable, that is. There we go. 
And he does that. Just does that a lot. And you have to hit his head, so you gotta get up high and aim when he's not. There we go. See? See? I did it. I did it. Get him, Coldax. Coldax, look at his face. Coldax. Come on, bro. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Hey! I didn't want to, but I did. Oh, dear. Ow, my body. That wasn't very good. Hello, Draconius. Coldax, shoot at him. Coldax, look at his body. Look and fire. Ow, now I'm on fire. Friggin', do I even have any healing potions? Do I have any healing potions? Inventory. I totally have a healing potion. Use. I'll be fine under here. He can't get me. Just gotta hit him. What's he doing? Is he doing that thing again? He bit Coldax. No, I don't care. Coldax, why aren't you firing at this guy? Come on. There we go. That's a lot better. He does more damage than I do. That's a lot better, Coldax. Yeah. There we go. Plus, he fires faster and doesn't have to use up stuff. He's a good little elemental. If you don't get Coldax, I think this fight is probably a lot harder. Ow! No! The fire! Crap. That wasn't good. He got me in a bad spot. Alright, I think I'll survive, though. Okay, he bit Coldax. I'm still alive. Coldax is fine. Coldax, I need you to live. Yeah, keep keep doing that. <sighs> Alright. Coldax, fire. Fire. Ah! He's so close to death. Coldax, just get him. Just get him. <laughs> yeah! Take that, Draconius. I only had to drink a healing potion. Down he goes, and I get coins out of nowhere, and the key to the gardens. <laughs> That's what those sound like. Okay, shift, teleport back, and voila! Chapter 2 is done. Now, which place was the gardens? Key to sewer and gardens. Alright, so we go left to get to the gardens. So let us do that. Although, one second, I have a scroll of teleport to the kitchen, right? Zoran, no, that's Zoran's shop. Did I not buy one for the kitchen? Bow mastery. No, I guess I didn't. Alright, I'll, I'll do that in my off time. I was just going to go make some health potions, but I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Do this. Into the gardens. How often do you possess people? Every time someone dares into the east entrance, I possess him and then lead him to his death. Yeah, I already know that, but how often does this happen? Every day? Every two days? Every few years. That's it? To reach this castle is a hard task for the simple mortals of this world. Then, when nothing's going on, what do you normally do? Stay alert. For years? You should take up a hobby. A distraction would keep me from my vigil. How boring. I'm sure that you cheer up when someone arrives. Why should I cheer up? Because it gives you something to do. You know, bring some action to a boring and monotonous existence. <sighs> it is possible that I feel some satisfaction when I slay an intruder. You see? It shows you like action, dude. I'm sure you're getting a kick out of being trapped in my body, because you have an excuse to visit the whole castle and get some action. And you know, it's true. If I were Sarah, I'd go insane. I wonder what his real name is, though. Probably something smoky. Ow. No. No. Stop that. Stop. Stop. Stop it. Nah. 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 Good job, Cold X. Alright, so those guys were, I think, more satyrs. Heavy spear? What am I using? Am I using a normal spear? Or... Sweet. Extra damage with polearms plus 20? That's a crap ton! I'm gonna have to test that out. Oh, also. Oop. Hello? Eh. 
Stab. Stab. It's a lot of damage for a spear. Oh, goodness. I hate these things. The hel all the helmets in general just suck. Although these ones aren't as bad as the fiery ones. These are arcane helmets, I think. But they don't take as much damage from cold axe, which is inconvenient. Potions of healing! Hooray! Voila! But I didn't light up this whole area, though. I want to light it up. I want to see. I want to see everything. Hello. Where'd you go? Stop that. Stop existing. Need to light up this whole room? There we go. There's the bling -a bling Gosh, I guess this episode's probably going a little long. Because fighting Draconius did take some time. Alright, you know what? We're going to experience these guys. Nice job, Coldax. Alright, so what those guys do, you see how they're holding what looks like dynamite on their backs? That's because that's what they do. They blow up. And unfortunately, it usually just kills you in one hit. So you have to go down and let them do it and then escape. Although I didn't do that properly. Hello! Nope, he didn't do it. Oh gosh, I just want... I just want to see him do it. How does he know I'm here? Come on, man. Come on. I just... I just want to... Come on. Alright, so he does 250 at the start, and then if you stand in that, I think you take 250 every second or something. The point is, it's scary and horrible and difficult. I wonder if these walls are real. I guess they must be. How am I going to get down to that guy? Hello? Hello? He doesn't know I'm there. What if I leave and come back? No? Leave. Leave. Huh? Huh? Hello? What the heck? He's not doing. Oh. Well, y y you guys got to see it. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm probably just going to end the episode right here. And we can we can deal with these guys later. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Click that like button if you did like it. Subscribe for more videos. I update every day if possible. And I will see you guys next time.